Set in the not-too-distant future, The Martian is the story of an astronaut stranded on Mars who has to rely solely on his own wit and ingenuity to survive the planet's hostile conditions. In order to be rescued, Mark Watney, played by Matt Damon, must trek more than 2,000 miles across the Martian terrain to reach a Mars Ascent vehicle that NASA intended to use for subsequent missions to the planet. One of Watney's biggest challenges in reaching his destination is how he'll stay warm during the frigid Martian nights. His solution? Using a radioisotope thermoelectric generator. An RTG is a radioisotope thermoelectric generator that contains around 4.8 kilograms of plutonium 238. The the way that the generator works is that it transforms uh, heat from the decay of plutonium-238 into electricity. However, it's not very efficient, so it actually gives off a lot of heat. So this is a good uh, heat source for Mark Watney because it generates about 15 to 1800 watts of heat. So it's like he's carrying around a very small campfire inside the rover as he goes around the surface of Mars, which helps to keep him warm. If Watney's mission were real, Oak Ridge National Laboratory would be playing a vital role in his survival, as it would be the sole source of the plutonium-238 needed for the RTG, as well as the fuel's containment material in the form of iridium clad vent sets. The clad vent sets are containers that hold the plutonium fuel, and so they're made out of an iridium alloy that's produced at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. And we start with uh, pure iridium powder and then finish with these uh, formed cups that have uh, frits in them, which are filters to allow the helium decay gas from the plutonium dioxide to escape and so pressure doesn't build up. Of course the iridium is compatible with the fuel that's inside as well as the surrounding insulation material. In the future, ORNL will be supplying plutonium for the four missions to Mars and ORNL currently supplies the iridium clad vent set. So in a, if the mission was real, ORNL wouldn't be supplying a lot of material for the mission to be able to be successful on the surface of Mars.